Hello guys, in this video I'll show the difference between using Freestyle and Pivot. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content, it's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas and much more. So be sure to check that out. So, let's say that I create... Um, Let's say I create a sphere, uh, you know, right around here. Let's say uh, right on this uh, edge, actually. Let me go ahead and press B to make it a new body. All right, let's say I want to go ahead and move this sphere um, down or up this edge right here. So I'll press G. So we have two options here, and these options are found in many things, guys. They're found in rotation, scale, and even when you're shooting as well. So we have freestyle and pivot. So if I press V to activate pivot, I can now snap to any of these, uh, you know, faces, edges, vertices, and set up the pit right there. For example, I can set the pit right there. Now I can press Z. It's going to move according to that pivot. Only problem with this is that the pivot does not change. So it's not going to be perfectly aligned to that edge, even though it looks close. Another example of this is if I create a sphere right here, for example, and once again, I'll press B for a new body. All right. If I go ahead and press G and then press V for move, I can set the pivot right here, for example, and I can use Z to move it. What you're going to notice, however, is that the sphere will fly off the cylinder, which let's say I don't want that to happen. So I can go ahead and press G, but this time I'll press F for freestyle. And using this, I can actually click on this edge and check this out, guys. You can see now it actually follows uh, this edge a lot more closely. All right, to make this work better, let's go ahead and start off with like uh, right there. I'll press uh, Alt Z, for example, to make it uh, kind of see through X ray mode. And I'm going to click right there. And uh, what you're now going to notice is that the sphere uh, actually follows this edge because we're in freestyle mode. So that's when we can do it. Of course, you can also press R for rotate and then press V and put the pivot uh, in the center right here. And you can kind of rotate on the Z axis. So the cool thing about 3D is that there's multiple ways to do things. And I want to show you how you can use freestyle and pivot. And uh, one more example on how freestyle and pivot comes in handy for other things. So here I'm doing my daily warm up with this little basic object here. So let's say I want there to be like a bridge going across here. Right, so of course I can select these two things and I can lock them together, but I can also use extrude as well. So I'm going to press E for extrude, I'm going to press D to increase the distance. What you're going to notice is that the extrude um, is not perfectly going straight across. It's going a little bit lopsided. That's to be expected because of the direction of this face right here. But I can fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate that. Now to show the difference, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and shift D this and move this, uh, let's say, uh, back here. All right, so for these for this back example, I'll just do an extrusion without doing anything else. Uh, not an offset, an extrusion, there is a difference here. So E and then D. All right, what you're going to notice is that it does not really uh, connect to this at all. It's going off in its own little direction here. Uh, now for this one, uh, I'm going to go into, let's say, the front viewport, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, E again. Uh, this time I can use, uh, you know, freestyle or pivot. I'll go ahead and use freestyle. I'll click right here. And now notice how I'm freestyling on the x-axis. Now, instead of being lopsided here, it's going straight across. I can also use a pivot for that. So I'll press E, D, I'll press V for pivot. Um, but that's just going to stick right there. It's, so as you can see in this situation, the pivot does not really work uh, that well. So in this situation, freestyle is a much better choice. So E. All right, E, F. And then we're going to freestyle straight across right here, snapping to the axis. And now I can select this and the Alt X. Now I get the same result on both sides. And you can see now 
I get that clean result I want as opposed to slab set result. So guys, you can use pivot and freestyle when you're shooting, moving, rotating, scaling, and other actions as well. Thank you for watching and take care.